Hello again, lovely people. It's been a while since I've made a video. This is just going to be about a little bit of hardware I picked up. I want to show to you guys and to let you know that hopefully this Sunday morning I will be releasing a video of Nova again and the progress I have with her walking gates and the remote control. All right, so that being said, this will be a short video, but be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you want to follow the remote project, the Nova project, or hopefully coming the first of the year, we'll have a new project that we'll be undertaking. If anybody wants to help us decide what we should build next, join the Discord server. We're going to have a little vote and a discussion going on there on what project we will take on next. Okay, so that being said, let me show off a couple of things I've picked up. So I was thinking why we didn't go the route, especially with Nova, of some sort of battery charging board, which will also provide some um, protection, overcharge, undercharge, all that fun stuff. So this one is a 4S, sorry, 3S, 11.1, 12 volt or 12.6 volt, 10 amp charger protection board. So I don't know much about these guys. Um, I've never used any of these boards like this, but assuming this is all we would need to not have to remove the battery from Nova. So if any of you guys have experience with these kind of boards, please reach out to me if you know of this board especially. Definitely reach out to me and let me know if it can serve that purpose for us. Oh, look at that. It's even got the specs written on the board a little bit for us. Okay, and then at the same time, I picked up a 2S one, 7.4, 8.4 volt, 8 amp. So this one we can probably use in the remote rather than having to plug it into a charger. Again, I, I don't know much about these. I'm assuming we would just connect a, a banana plug or a USB plug to one end to provide this board with power to charge the battery. Not sure, guys. I haven't really looked into it yet. I just sometimes like to browse around Amazon if I see some cool hardware. I just pick it up. So another cool thing that I picked up, which I think, and I believe Dog over on Discord turned me on to these. What a great idea for a potentiometer to replace these sliders, which I really, really like. And some users have gone with normal volume type control potentiometers. But these guys, I gotta tell you, really make me excited to use because can you imagine if just the dial piece was pointing up through half a size slit that we have there? My only concern is mounting them and the height of them I think is a bit bigger than, this, than the slide potentiometers. And I do not wanna make my body any thicker to accommodate these so worst case they may protrude halfway up and i'll put some plastic on the cover to cover them but i really think it's going to have to be mounted to a small piece of pcb to really hold it steady and unfortunately the way we have four like this it can't be one pcb it's going to be four small pieces of pcb so i'm not quite sure yet how to mount them but i am going to breadboard them up and test them out because i think it would be so cool just to glide your finger over the top to make adjustments and i can almost bet these are way more reliable than slide pots so it comes with a whole assortment of different uh, values so we'll obviously be using the 10K. I think that's another problem with these potentiometers, guys, is we went with, I think they're 50K because of the size of them. It was hard to find 10K ones. But I did find 10K ones, so I may even go with those. But I really am going to try these guys here first. Okay, and last but not least, I saw this and I got very excited, more excited when I actually opened the package because I expected them to be the same size as these joysticks. So it... A thumbstick, I guess. So let's see what they actually call it. It's from Adafruit. Oh, it's a PSP two-axis analog thumb joystick. So for those of you gamers out there, maybe you're familiar with this. I guess it's mimicking the one that's used on a PSP controller. But yeah, I was very happy with the size of it. Look at it compared to these guys. <clears throat> so that might be kind of cool. I doubt I'll use it in this project because I'm happy with these joysticks. But it is a cool little device. It's See, it slides rather than joystick action, but it goes all the way around, so I'm sure it's full, full spectrum or full, full axis. Full axis access. Full axi access. All right, anyway, I really like these guys, so 
If we don't use them in this remote project, I'm definitely going to use them in any other project I do that requires joysticks. All right, guys. So, yeah, just wanted to show off a little bit of hardware. Um, definitely stay tuned. I'll pop into Discord probably this weekend, as well as, like I said, hopefully release a video of Nova. Hope everybody's well. Love each other. Take care of each other. And I'll see you real soon.